फ्रेंड्स आई एम निशा हरचेकर आई एम द इक्विटी हेड एट फिंटू दिस इज वेनजे ऑन वेल्थ एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन डिफेंस सेक्टर डिफेंस सेक्टर इज इन एक्शन सिंस पास फ्यू डेज एंड स्टॉक्स लाइक भारत डायनामिक्स हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक्स एंड भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स हैव रैलिड शार्पली बी डी एल विच इज भारत डायनामिक्स इन पर्टिकुलर इज अप वन ट्वेंटी परसेंट वाई टू डी वाइल हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक्स एच ए एल is up 43% vitally and bharat electronics is up 23% vitally globally the shares of defense and aerospace companies have rallied lockheed martin is up sharply and is at all time high along with general dynamics and the likes the i shares us aerospace and defense etf the largest of its kind with 33 equity holdings has risen more than 12% Since the Russian troops invaded Ukraine on February 24th, so what's driving the defense-related stocks in the past few weeks? Well, the markets always want a new theme or an idea, and investors are always on a lookout for the next multi-bagger, isn't it? So let's delve more on the defense theme and the factors that are driving the stocks. And is it the right time for the investors to invest in the defense theme in India? With the Russia-Ukraine war still raging. it will be prudent for the world economies to reconsider the defense budgets the global defense expenditure is expected to rise exponentially recently germany has said that its defense budget would now make up to 2% of the gdp from earlier 1.5% japan also plans to increase its 2022 defense budget to more than 1% of gdp for the first time since 1960 So overall the conflict is likely to encourage more spending on defense that will lift the valuations of these stocks in a rising defense budget scenario defense stocks multiple should typically rise the geopolitical tensions is likely to impact the indian defense expenditure also and hence the indian government will have no choice but to increase the defense allocation India for its part is considered as a geopolitical hotspot due to its border tensions with China in the north and tense relationship with Pakistan in the west. So now let's have a look at some of the factors that is driving the stocks in this sector. India stands to benefit from increasing defense capital outlay as well as emphasis on indigenization of defense equipment led by Make in India and Atma Bharat initiatives by government of India. India's military expenditure has seen a sharp rise to 2.88% of GDP in 2020 due to escalation of tensions with China. Prior to that, the military expenditure as a percentage of GDP had been on a downtrend since 2009. With government's emphasis on defense indigenization, domestic defense equipment companies stand to gain. To encourage the domestic defense manufacturing, the government over the last couple of years has taken multiple steps like increasing the FDI limit to 74% from 49%, import embargo on 209 defense items, increasing the requirement of indigenization content by 10%, exclusive reservation for Indian vendors in few categories to protect the domestic manufacturers so this was on the policy front now some interesting facts india is the third largest spender of military goods globally posting a cagr of 8.5% over 2000 and 2020 to usd 72.8 billion in cy20 and the us is number 1 followed by china India for the first time in the last two decades has seen a military expenditure CAGR rising by 8.1% over CY16 to CY19 surpassing China's 6.6%. So where does the opportunity lie? India's armed forces need next generation technology and equipments. There is an estimated rupees 8 to 10 trillion opportunity for PSU and private company over the next 10 to 12 years. India is the largest importer and US is the largest exporter of defense equipment at USD 9.4 billion in CY20. The local share at 59% and imports at 41% over FI11 and FI21 presents a huge opportunities for domestic manufacturers. 
the domestic procurement at 63% of the total defense capital budget in FI22. The Indian government has set an ambitious defense production target at USD 25 billion by 2025. So overall, we are positive on the defense and allied sectors such as aerospace, explosive, shipbuilding industries due to government focus on self-reliance of defense needs, high imports of military goods provides huge opportunity for local manufacturing. India is targeting to export USD 5 billion worth of defense goods by FI25 from the current levels of USD 1.1 billion in FI21. So there is a huge opportunity on the exports fronts also. So how can investors benefit from the defense opportunity? So one can take exposure to the India's defense sector by buying shares of listed companies in this sector. We are positive on Bharat Dynamics, Hindustan Aeronautics, Bharat Electronics, Paris Defense and Garden Reach Shipbuilders. I hope this video was useful and you have any further doubts, you can contact our expert wealth advisors. And for more such videos and interesting content, you can subscribe to our channels.